OMG BG! Welcome back to another Beyblade Burst unboxing. Today we've got BTO3. This is the Ultimate Fusion DX set. Super excited to actually get to check out what's inside this set because it comes with something crazy amazing. We got brand new upgraded BU, uh, Super Hyperion and King Helios. Sick. Along with a full custom bay launcher and a special Belio Bay upgrade. So some crazy cool parts in here as well. So let's check out the back of the box. So the cool thing about this Ultimate Fusion set is you get the Fusion gimmicks with these BU blades. So Super Hyperion BU version and King Helios BU version. So you can actually take apart half of the blade and mix and match them amongst the brothers. So the bay is now called Super Hyperion MR and King Helios MR. So these parts are super cool. M stands for metal and R stands for rubber. So these two bays both come with rubber and metal parts. You can mix and match them, make some crazy combo out of it. I would say the only downside about these two new releases is that they're very similar. They're almost like twins, you know what I mean? There was more differentiation between the bays back in the Sparking series. But of course, you can add in the fusion ability and that mixes it up. So moving over to the third bay, we also have Belial. So this one is Divine Belial 3. Comes with Nexus, Bearing Drift with a H gear. So a bunch of new parts, we're gonna check it out. Another Divine Belio, wow. And they've redone this Belio DB core so many times now. And now that we have the H gear with Belio, we can fully complete a brand new perfect gear Belio. We're super excited to open up this DX set. So if you guys are looking for one as well, check out our friends over at Zen Market. Zen Market is a proxy shipping website that brings Japanese goods directly to you from Japan. Every month when a bay drops, they are sure to have it. Zen Market only attaches a very small fee of 300 yen per item. So if you're looking for some rare goods from Japan, Zen Market is there for you. When you guys are shopping on Zen Market, you're also looking at different databases from stores like Amazon Japan, Rakuten, Yahoo Auctions, and so much more. Not only are there Japanese Takeru Tomi Bays, there are also clothes, food, video games, a bunch of cool stuff that you might not be able to find anywhere else. If Zen Market is right for you, definitely check out our showcase page in the video description below. Use our link and get 300 yen free for your first item that you purchase on Zen Market. So if Zen Market is right for you, check out the links in the description below. Three bays in the launcher. It's a pretty decent set. Yep, at the end of the video, we'll let you know whether you should buy it, consider it, or avoid it. All right, so now that all the stickers are on, let's talk about Divine Belio first. So Super Hyperion and King Helios obviously is the star of the show here, but this Divine Belios is not bad as well. Comes with a bunch of new parts. So first of all, we have the Belio 3 DB core. It looks pretty similar to the Belio 2 core, but it does have a couple of extra features. If you flip it upside down, you see the red parts. That's the burst lock right there. But if you look closely, you also have the BU lock system. Before with Belial 2, it was already pretty much impossible to burst it. Now you have another layer of defense with the BU locks. So this is pretty much like one of the most OP DB cores at this point. And now that we have a lot more BU disc out there, this DB core will fit pretty well with those parts. We also have the gold version of Divine. Looks pretty cool, especially with the colors, because if you actually compare it with your H gear, the colors actually match. The H gear have three colors on their main blades that pay homage to Hyperion, Helios, and Lucifer. That's what the blue, orange, and purple is for. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So H gear fits on top of the Belial DB core. And what's unique about the H gear is that the weight, you have to use the weight with the plastic piece and that is your one piece H gear. This is the first time that we're getting a gear upgrade that comes with two different parts. So yeah, pretty cool. If you don't already have Divine Belial, then now it comes with the H gear as well. Collect the other BU bays and you can assemble your perfect Belial. Once you have these parts together, it is considered the first gear Divine Belial. Keep in mind that you can use the H gear in low mode and in high mode. So the plastic piece can basically interchange with the metal armor. Right out of the box, it comes in low mode. What's cool about high mode is you actually get extra benefits from the H gear. So the H gear has these little tabs and in high mode, they're exposed to have more burst resistance. These tabs help the disc from unlocking. It also comes with the Nexus disc, so you can use it with your S gear or your D gear with this part. Yo, so I waited till the very end to talk about this part because I'm so excited. 
bearing drift driver. This thing looks insane, man. So this was actually first introduced by Takeru Tomi in the Japanese tournament. So, so it was super difficult to get this part. But now you can get it by buying this set. So not entirely uh, like a new part, but definitely new for most people. I think every competitive blader is going to try to get their hands on this bearing drift driver. Keep in mind that this bearing drift is just a regular spring lock, not the metal version. So still not exactly the same as the B00 limited edition released back in the day. So the drift driver was already super OP. That was already widely used by a lot of bladers. And now you add a bearing inside the driver. This thing is going to spin forever. Like just spinning it on the table, it just goes forever without anything on top of it. So I think life after death is going to be pretty insane. Um, I think a lot of combos are going to include this driver from now on. In terms of competitiveness, this part right here, definitely it's going to rank very high in this set. And I think some people are actually going to buy this set just for this driver itself. So don't sleep on it. Now the start of the show, Super Hyperion and King Helios in the BU system. So nice to see them come back. I'm still a little bit tripped up by the fact that the names are pretty much the same. I know they added MR to the end, but it's still King Helios and it's still Super Hyperion. I would expect a new name. What do you guys think about that? So before we go into the fusion gimmick, which is the coolest part of this whole set, let's talk about the disc and driver combo. For Super Hyperion, it's pretty boring. We're getting a tapered disc, nothing too impressive. But the driver here is Explosion. This one is super cool. You have a little plate at the bottom which is free spinning. Very similar to the signature Longness Destroy driver. The main difference is that the star pattern that you're seeing there is made of rubber. Yeah, it's kind of like hard rubber though, so I don't expect it to wear that fast. It's also nice that this Explosion driver is slightly taller than the Destroy driver, so I think so. some bladers might prefer this over Destroy, who knows. And then for the other Asahi brother, we have King Helios, which comes with this Giga disc, which is a little bit better. So it's a lot heavier and usable. Yeah, I would say that either this or the over disc would definitely be your more competitive choice. So I would definitely pick this one over the taper disc. For the driver of King Helios, we have Zeal, which is a brand new part once again. For this one, so we also get a free spinning disc with two protrusion points not as aggressive looking and you get sort of like a rubber sharp tip. If you look from the bottom, you do see a little bit of like a rubber ball and then it tapers up to a sharper tip. It kind of reminds me of the Grand Cetus rubber sharp tip back in the days in the Metal Fights era. Yo, throwback, who actually remembers that? Yeah, it was actually a pretty decent tip. So of course this Zeal driver is not going to be as aggressive as Explosion. It should grip to the center of the stadium a lot better. It just kind of sucks though because I hope that there is a little bit of movement with King Helios MR at least. It's pretty boring when it just chills in the center the whole time. So we'll have to see what it does once we actually get to the test battles. All right, now let's talk about the gimmicks of the actual blade itself. So this is the fun part. For the DB core, Super Hyperion is right spinning and King Helios is left spinning. So that doesn't change. The DB core actually looks pretty similar. They're just facing an opposite way. You have that helmet design, which looks pretty cool. You either pick Helios for left spin or Hyperion for right spin. Now the gimmick for the fusion changes things completely. So both of these blades are actually dual spinning. So they spin both left and right. So from Beyblade Burst Evolution Season 2, we saw a similar gimmick like this where you can take them apart and fuse them together with Apollos and Artemis. Um, but once you fuse the two together, you can only use one Beyblade. With this design though, it's actually pretty cool because you can fuse the two together and still have two separate bays. So by default, the Super Hyperion combo comes with a blade that's called Super MR, which stands for like your Super Hyperion with the metal and rubber blade. For Helios Blade, it's called King MR. So you have King, Metal, and King Rubber, which you see here by default. So this is where the naming convention gets kind of confusing because there's so many different ways you can actually switch and swap the parts. We'll insert this diagram which shows the six combos you can make from these two parts. Um, you could also have four additional combos you can create by buying two sets of this DX set. Because once you buy two sets of these, you can actually make the Super M, Super R, King Metal, King Rubber combos. So these two do look pretty similar, um, but if you look very closely, some of the blade designs are slightly altered. So by changing it up, you are gonna get different performance, but it's not gonna be like a huge difference. What's gonna be a big difference is when you fuse the parts and change up the like rubber and metal combination. So you can have full metal, full rubber, or a mix of each other between the brothers. So look closely, do you see any big differences? 
One thing that you might notice is that King Helios MR does seem to have a little bit more rubber on the rubber blade there compared to Super MR. Yeah, and then the blades are also shaped a little bit different. Like Steven mentioned earlier, both of these BU blades are LR, so you can use them with left spin and right spin DB cores. Now, of course, in their stock forms, say for example, Super Hyperion with the Hyperion DB core, in right spin mode, it's very natural. All of the blades are pretty much in the exact same direction as any other right spin bay. But if you throw in the left DB core, say you put Helios in there, you get Super Helios. Now the blades will give you a different point of impact, like the sharper parts are gonna make contact with your opponent, thus giving you some more recoil. And it's not something you see very often. Yeah, the extra recoil, you gotta be careful with that because that's prone to bursting, but it's cool that you can at least customize it to that point. Yeah, I'm just imagining some pretty messed up combo. For example, if you have double the Super R combos, so two rubber Hyperion red design going left spin, that's gonna be recoil master. Gotta buy two sets of these and try it out. So many different ways to customize this thing. What do you guys think would be the best combo? This set also comes with a full custom bay launcher, which is super nice because the last time we actually got one of these was from our Dangerous Belial set. So yeah, full custom bay launcher gives you the bearing spin unit. So that's gonna be pretty sick. Also has a longer cord as well. So that's uh, nice. The blue and red representative of the brothers, right? Helios and Hyperion. Fused together. But it kind of sucks though because that bearing spin unit is still locked behind sets. Like you can get it separately, yeah, you know? Like you still have so to buy true. either this set or you have to get the previous set, right? Yeah, so true. Um, yeah, but they gave us all three of the new parts that creates this full custom bay launcher, the ultimate bay launcher that you can get right now. Let's see how much they weigh. We have Super. Super MR is 15.7 grams. And then that we have King. King. Oh, 15.77. Alright. So it does weigh more, but barely. But there still is a difference. So that is the stock layer. 36.33. Then stock layer for Super Hyperion. 36.71. So there are some differences. Well there are different armors. Yep. So if you go with Giga and Driver your King Helios is going to weigh a lot more. Ooh, 75.49. That's a pretty heavy bay. And then for Super Hyperion, if I can stack it correctly. It's so lazy. 72.16. Yeah, so King Helios weighs a few grams more. And can't forget about our third bay, 73.55 for Divine Belial with uh, the new parts. Time for a test battle with our newest bays. Three, Three two, two, one, let's shoot. Driver. So exciting. I knew it. I knew that King Helios was just gonna be chilling in the middle. It's super Hyperion. It feels like a longness. But uh, yeah, the rubber to rubber, that's kind of cool to see that too. Yeah, they're gonna equalize. equalize. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the brothers are evenly matched. And then we have Divine Belial with the H gear. Three, Three two, two, one. one. How fast it is. Now that reminds me of Super Hyperion, the OG one. True. Okay. Hitting pretty hard. <laughs> Bearing drift though. Pretty good. Got my burst lock there. Came out. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Got knocked back there. Yeah, Belio would have gotten knocked out if the pocket was right there. Okay, so it's opposite spin battle. So King MR actually does seem to be hitting pretty hard. And oh, equalized. Equalized. Oh, well, they are the spin. All because of this driver, I swear. <laughs> Kept you alive. My new favorite driver. All right, so that's pretty much it for the B203 unboxing of this DX set. So the big question is, do we recommend buying it? Should you consider it or should you avoid it? So I think you should buy this set. So at first I was thinking maybe you should get at least two sets so you can complete all the combos. But now looking at this, they are pretty similar so I don't think you have to do it. But if you really want to, I guess you could get two sets. Um, but overall, I really like how 
you get three decent bays along with the custom bay launcher. And keep in mind that a lot of these parts are brand new too. Like this bearing drift driver, this is a killer. All right, that's pretty much it for our review. Tell us in the comment section below what you guys think. And as always, peace out. out.